Hi Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. This week I'm going to see if I can get your person to focus in on sharing their true feelings and desires when it comes to you and your connection. Oh, and also this week we are using Sarah Marchetti's decks, the Terra Grand Lux and Oracle of Visions. Y'all know I love Sarah Marchetti. Yes, I do. We're also using uh, Maruk X's deck, Oracle deck, and our conversation deck will be Big Mama. Ooh, guys. Went outside before I did come in to sit down to do your reading. We've got confirmations of hummingbirds, mm -hmm, dragonflies, and June bugs. Ooh, somebody might need one of them for confirmation. Let's jump in. Let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Pisces this week. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you could check out your other sign positions. I also did the extra wild card reading. Check that one out and see if I was able to pick up energy there. It's my Pisces person. Let's focus in on feelings and desires and the connection. That, oh, that was quick. Oh, somebody's wanting to fly. Take a chance. Yeah, step off that ledge and see if we can fly together. That's like a full card, a leap of faith. Hold the energy. So somebody, yeah, it's a feel-good card, but at the same time, there's an undercurrent of, oh, God, I'm getting ready to risk something. Mm -hmm. See what else will come out here. Ooh, so somebody's definitely wanting to take a chance. Mm-hmm. Willing to take a chance. What else will come out here? Ooh, pop. Balance. Ooh, finding balance between giving and receiving. Ooh, so somebody's willing to do come out of their comfort zone for us. Uh-huh, because they want to balance out that giving and receiving bottom of the deck. Sacrifice. There's a sacrifice I need to make. I'm not sure if I'm ready. Yeah, somebody is definitely coming out of their comfort zone. Uh, with us, this could be anything uh, we've asked them to do something or try something, things like that. Where we're, we, you know, we it's, it feels risky, but there's still that bubbly, a little bit of curiosity and excitement of, okay, I'm willing, I'm willing to, do, I'm willing to do it. So yeah, well, I like that. Let's get on talking, my Pisces, my Pisces. For somebody out there, this is also about somebody that's been standing on the sideline uh, trying to decide should they approach you or not approach you. Mm -hmm. But for the majority of it, it's, it would be the, fir the first thing I got through. Uh, um, yeah, they got to come out of their comfort zone just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And they want to because they want that balance. They feel, you know, they feel like you give a lot, they need to give back. Ooh, pop. They are on fire. A <laughs> spark of new inspiration and motivation and passion. Ow, guys. And taking action. What else here? Bring it out for us. Talk to us. Ooh, let me shuffle. Standing up here. There we go. Blam. Oh, building confidence. This is our young divine masculine Aries, the young emperor starting out. So something feels new, but they're building confidence uh, about stepping that threshold, moving forward. Oh, and they're doing the alchemy they need to do because we are making them feel absolutely alive. Alive. Yes. Coming out of that comfort zone. Uh, this is moving to the future. Hope for the future. Uh, but it's also about vitality. Bringing life back to something. And feeling good about it. Feeling optimistic about things. And Magician card. We have definitely got this person on fire. Fire. Ooh. Let's talk about the fire. What have they been through? We're... They were feeling like lifeless, like blah, blah. And all of a sudden, everything looks magical, magical and full of hope. Talk to us about the state before that. What what, what was the feeling before? Oh, they were 
the wounded war warrior ready to give up wounded warrior energy and nine of wands energy is about feeling like you can't go on there's no point everything's telling you to give up hope and just surrender but yeah and you almost want to but your higher self says no don't don't give up yet Ooh, and victory new way of thinking but also fresh new life on their way of thinking and ideas popping into their head the optimism that they needed uh, the life force coming back and coming out of comfort zone a two of swords are y'all seeing that guys we got a uh, ace of swords here with a two of swords and then we got an ace of wands with a two of wands this person is like banging i don't know what we brought to them other than life life feeling like there's hope and optimism moving into the future on the bottom of the deck Ooh, i love it eight of wands eight of wands it can sometimes be a card of travel, physical travel, and it would represent like air travel sometimes. Um, but it is feeling like things are finally coming unstuck and moving forward. You're hitting the target. Uh, and long distance communications is sometimes mm -hmm, talking long distance. But I'm feeling it more of the momentum. This person's energy is really picked up. How they've reprioritized in their life. The Eight of Cups energy is about being emotionally dissatisfied. Think of that nine of wands of there's no point. Blah, blah, blah. This person is seeing the light in a new direction and they're ready to go in that new direction. Mm hmm. Ooh, and letting the past go, walking away from the past. Wow, a card of nostalgia, Six of Cups energy is youthful energy also coming back to life for them. Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups also, what do we get over here? Sacrifice. For some reason, there's some kind of sacrifice that this person has got to give up something. Reprioritize. Give up something. What's more important right now? And they're ready to give up whatever it is come out of that comfort zone. Because they're reprioritizing. Because we brought life back to them. And they're overcoming some subconscious fears. Guys, the main card. Wow. Okay. Let's shuffle these up a little bit better. And keep talking here. Let me get them all shuffled up good. Pisces person. Ooh, Pisces. You got somebody really... You brought magic into their way of thinking and feeling. Talk to us. I don't know what it is you've done or, you know, but you've done something right. Yes. You're queen of my heart, cancer energy showing up. Intuitive connection, empath. Oh, wow. Four of swords, rest, recuperation, getting clarity. My mind has quieted itself down. Ooh, and new love. A, new, a blessing. Bringing me a blessing. Wow. Because this is this is like, Pisces, this is representing your highest divine, divine feminine energy. Regardless of your gender. But it's an indication. This person really does feel like you brought life back to them. A renewal of life back to them. But it's also they feel at peace. At peace. When they're talking to you or interacting with you, Ooh, it's like you're bringing the bringing the healing to them. We've got the emperor energy, divine masculine Aries in his mature form. Oh, getting organized because it's it's popping me back to the four swords. My brain is quieting down. I can see the future. I can see what I want to build. I can, yeah. But he, emperor energy is also something that rules over something. The main thing that is uh, regulating uh, circumstances right now. Ooh, five of five of pentacles, like mentality. But y'all know in the grand, <laughs> the tarot grand lux, the hands throwing money at you. Yes, you're opening opening up to new possibilities. This person may feel like they've been holding herself back. 
missing out on opportunities, not just, you know, money, that kind of thing, but they've held their, their self back for a long time until the divine feminine Aries energy shows up because she's the sunlight that motivates and inspires and she also is the leading energy so and I really feel like they're holding you in that right now Pisces of you're the one leading the way you're showing them a new light a new life and vitality I want to talk to them a little bit before we uh, get the conversation going about the emperor I want to see ruling factor ruling factor Ooh, hold on. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, trying something new. Uh, opportunity to try something new and to perfect something. Ooh, wanting to be perfect at something. Devoted and dedicated to uh, the new opportunity. Oh, and the solidarity. They feel secure in this. Mm -hmm. Y'all know uh, Four of Wands energy is about milestone, honor, respect. It, it is about achieving things, building together a solid foundation together. So this person is really feeling good in this connection. Bottom of the deck, we got a Ten of Cups energy. My Heaven on Earth bliss card. I believe that there can be a Heaven on Earth now. Yes. Let's pull all these up. I'm going to keep out the first ones. So it will keep me tapped into reading your person's energy clearly. <laughs> Strongly. Put it that way. Let's shuffle this up. Hold the energy. This is for my Pisces. My Pisces. Ooh, we're giving them confidence to actually make some changes in their life and believe something different. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's get Big Mama up here. Let's get them talking. You just know they are leaning on you, and and when I'm looking at that Queen of Cups energy with the Emperor over there, it's like the Emperor saying, "I know you know me so much better than you get me. You know me like no one else does, and I don't even have to tell you." Mm -hmm. I'm going through a lot right now. Here I go. I said I would never fall again, but I'm willing to do it. Oh, we get a lot here. I feel like I am living my life for everyone else. Put it in past tense. I felt like I was having to live my life for everyone else. The five of pentacles, guys, of holding yourself back, sacrificing. I know, I know you're used to being with someone more attractive. They do have some insecurity going on there. Just be aware of it. Pisces person. Ooh, we're getting them. We're getting them. They talking. I'm scared of losing you. I got myself in trouble. I need to look into your eyes. I'm struggling to open up to you. I put up walls because I'm afraid of rejection. Confirmation for someone. November, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Keep talking, my Pisces person. Pop. My life is so messed up right now. I'm wanting to uh, tell, tell it in past tense, guys. Like, say it in past tense. My life has been so messed up. It's hard for me to have deep conversation. It makes me uncomfortable. Ooh, popping me back to the Emperor in that uh, Queen of Cups energy. This person really is uncomfortable when it comes to having deeper conversations with people. They feel a little bit self-conscious, and that's what's so comfortable for them in the connection with you, Pisces. They feel like you get that. You understand. You already know what they're feeling and thinking without them having to continuously struggle to express it. It's like you you get it. You get it. Ooh, what else? I'm battling my inner demons. Mm -hmm. Here. Hold on what we get here. We get more than one. Awkward moment. Awkward moment. Uh, they feel awkward. Awkward a lot. Obligations. 
stand in the way, stood in the way, obligations, stood, put that in, in past tense. What else? What else? Talk to us. Talk. Our coping mechanisms have been different. I'm willing. I'm willing to come out of my comfort zone. I'm willing to make some sacrifices. I'm willing to take this risk with you. Yes. Anything else? Yes. We'll get more. Huh? I don't want you so badly it hurts, but there are too many reasons why I shouldn't. And all the reasons center it back to this person because their energy always, uh, their thoughts and their feelings will always direct it back at them of they're the cause of something, they're the reason of something. I'm the one that's not perfect. That kind of thing. I know you are the one for me. Woo. But I'm not sure I'm the one for you. Am I bad for you? Is what I'm hearing. You're so different than what I'm used to, but I love it. Love, not just like, love it. Love it. Outside interference. Outside interference. I'm always wanting to put a, an S on the interference. Interferences. I'm all screwed up about this. I feel so intimidated. Last shuffle, anything else? Anything else? Yes. I wish things were different. I wish I was just a little bit different. I think this person don't give themselves enough credit because they are pushing themselves to try something different, to take a risk, to come out of that comfort zone. Ooh, I like that. But they really don't give themselves enough credit. And they do center everything back on them uh, when they feel like something's wrong. Things like that. They look at their self instead of other people. We're going to rotate the message deck so I know which side to pull from next. Let's see what else they want to bring out. Pisces person. Talk to us. Let's get this shuffled up better. One more. One more ref. There we go. Pisces person, talk to us. You Pisces. Guys, y'all beautiful souls. Y'all the light that draws the moss. Ooh, strength card. Ooh, I'm building confidence, getting to know each other. But I'll, because guys, y'all know with me, the strength card, what gives us that inner courage and boldness is when we have an intuitive understanding of something. We don't have to be told. We got the empathic understanding and it's it's about training the beast and taming the beast a balance between that yeah to know each other what you like what you don't like without having to tell each other uh, but it's also setting healthy boundaries healthy boundaries this person is building some confidence here and they really feel like like i said that you you know what they're thinking and feeling they don't have to struggle to explain things to you it's like you're making it easy for them <laughs> but you're also helping them to stand in confidence and not be so self-conscious -con about things Ooh, five of pentacles showing back up here been holding myself back in that like mentality feeling like you know i've had to sacrifice a lot in the card of valor card of valor talk to us on the seven of wands Patience, patience, invest in time and energy to bring something into being, to help, to nurture something, to bring it to life. But sometimes there's frustration on it. World card. World card is tying up loose ends and making changes a new phase. What else? Tell me more. Page of Cups, feeling emotionally vulnerable. Guys, with this one, they are holding your energy into that Seven of Wands of the Card of Valor. Now, that's to stand up and protect what you feel like is precious to you, vulnerable. Is uh, And you know Valor, it's like if you see someone that really needs someone to stand up for them, you'll stand up for them. You'll help them. You'll, you'll beat the world back for them until they can get on their feet. They're holding you in this energy. They do have some sub subconscious fears. You're going to get tired and impatient with them. But right now, you're exhibiting a lot of patience with them. While they're transitioning into a new phase, while they're going through some major changes in their own 
uh, psyche, their own life. Because uh, they're feeling emotionally vulnerable right now. The Page of Cups. They are truly, truly in love. In love. In love. In love. But they do have subconscious fears that you're going to uh, get tired of them. If they don't make some changes quick. If they don't step up. Because we got the balance on that Libra. Giving and receiving. They are willing to come out of comfort zone. And try anything for us. Because they don't want to lose us. And hope for the future, Aquarius Star Card. Ooh, Pisces, I love it. Mm -hmm. Bringing that life back. Hope and optimism for them. Let's get them talking again. Let's see what else they're going to want to bring out and say. Pisces energy. I'm making the effort. Yep, they are definitely willing to make the effort. <laughs> Confirmation for someone in January, Aquari uh, Capricorn, Aquarius. Y'all don't just pay attention to the zodiac signs. Sometimes they're trying to get your attention to a month. What else? I'm affected more than you know. I'm trying to trust that we will be together. Yeah, that subconscious fear of you will eventually get tired of me. And all my emotional vulnerabilities. I have been wanting to reach out to you for a long time. Mm -hmm. Reach out, reach out, reach out is what I'm here. I want to reach out to you. I wanted to for a long time. Why didn't I before now? I need some time to be able to think straight. I'm too confused. What else? What else? Ooh, and guys, so those may be where I picked up just one one of you, maybe a couple of you. I'm not sure. I'm just feeling like it's someone in particular where somebody just stood on the sideline and was like, no, I'm too afraid. No, I'm going to get rejected. I'm going to get hurt. This person, is, that person is chiming in right, right through here. So, yeah. Do you even want me anymore? Are you going to always want me is what I'm hearing. Are you going to get tired of me? You're what I need. I've need, I need, I've needed this forever is what I'm hearing. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> you deserve so much more than I can give you. Mm -hmm. Think of the balance on that. Receiving and giving. They want to balance those scales because I love you. I love you. Hang on, guys. My fingers don't want to pull on it. There we go. Forever is not long enough. My love for you is not ever going to die. No, it's not. Pisces person, keep talking. Anything else? Yep. What if I let you down? I'm wanting to drop the word again. I'm, <laughs> I'm just wanting to say, what if I let you down? What if I did? What if I do let you down? Would you forgive me? Would you be patient with me? You made me realize that I want more in life. That is an absolute true statement. My friends say that I fall for it too easily. And I love you more than I love myself. Woo! Like that one, Pisces. Hold the ears you. Let's go ahead and get them to focus in on the deck. They want to give you a final and closing message from this week. For my Pisces. Mm. I got it. Let me get the whole deck up here. We're getting the big guns. Of course. It's a conversation with counterpart. The light side of the decks. Yes. Pisces person. Oh, pop. I'm confronting my past and my fears. I can't believe a love like this exists. I can't believe, yeah, the love you're you're bringing towards me. Is it real? I'm hearing it. they just went off to La La. Uh, is this my imagination? It can't. It's a dream come true, but it can't be. <laughs> Ooh, they need to stop. You're always on my mind. You've changed my world for the better. We're under the same sky. Feel me there. I'm devoted to you. 
to this to us. You're my light, Alice, guiding me to shore. Yep, you're in that spotlight, giving them direction. They'd be lost at sea without you. The intensity of this connection allures and frightens me very much. So, guys, listen to them. Because they are like, this can't be real. Is it all in my head? Am I fooling myself? I want to spend my life with you. And last one, guys. My heart is on fire for you. Ooh, Pisces. Guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you next time. Bless be.